Hello friends, this is Supriya. Welcome back to my channel Biology Reader. Today I am going to discuss what is pericarp. Through this video session, you will get to know the definition and three distinct layers of the pericarp along with the diagrammatical representations. So friends, let's get started. We will start this video by defining the term pericarp. So we can define pericarp as a fraction of the fruit that develops from the flower's ovary and it encloses the seed that is developed after the fertilization of ovules. Then in most of the fruits like mango, berries, plum, peaches, etc. A pericarp is the edible portion that forms around the seed. Sometimes we get confused between the terms pericarp and fruit. But both the terms are quite different. Friends, here I have taken the picture of avocado to make you differentiate both the terms. So the pericarp is the dry or fleshy portion of the fruit and the fruit is a combination of both the pericarp and the seed. Now we will study the layers of pericarp by using this diagram. Here this outer green section of avocado is called the exocarp layer that forms the fruit skin. Then this yellow mid portion of the avocado indicates the mesocarp or intermediate layer that can be sometimes dry or fleshy. Then this thin brown layer of avocado indicates the endocarp layer that is the innermost layer surrounding the seed. In avocado, this endocarp layer is difficult to differentiate as it appears as a thin film over the seed. Let us discuss each layer of the pericarp in detail. Starting with exocarp, it is the outermost layer of the pericarp or we can say that exocarp or epicarp is the fruit skin or fruit peel. Exocarp is generally a thin and tough outermost tissue. Here in this diagram, you can see the arrows illustrating the exocarp layer. This layer with green patches forms the outer layer of watermelon. Then this dry and black layer of avocado also indicates the exocarp layer. Then this porous outer skin of orange also indicates the exocarp layer. Then mesocarp is the middle or intermediary layer of the pericarp that exists between the exocarp and endocarp. This layer can be dry or fleshy and mesocarp of fruits like mango, tomato, peach etc. makes up the edible portion. Here in this diagram the arrows illustrating the mesocarp layer. Here this yellow middle portion of a peach fruits indicates the mesocarp layer. Then this white portion of tomato also represents the mesocarp layer. In citrus fruit like orange, this white mesocarp layer is particularly called albedo or pith that needs to be separated prior to eating. Then the endocarp is the innermost layer of pericarp enclosing the seed. In citrus fruit like orange, the endocarp is the only edible portion that contains juice vesicles. Then stone fruit like peach, the endocarp surrounding the seed is usually thick and hard. Then in dry fruit like walnut, the endocarp functions as a hard cover enclosing the kernel. We will end this video session by discussing some of the silent features of pericarp. In true fruits like plum, mango, peach etc. the pericarp develops from the flower's ovary. Whereas in false fruits like apples, strawberries, etc. the pericarp originates from the thalamus. Then in parthenocarpic fruit like banana, the pericarp originates from the flower's ovary but it lacks the seed. So friends, this is all for today. I hope you find this lesson useful. To know this topic more in detail, you can visit our official website that is biologyreader.com. Link is provided in the description box. So friends, do like, comment, share and subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon for more videos.